let's talk about Spring Valley High. When I think about the situation, it does frustrate me because to see a young woman thrown from her chair and thinking that could easily be someone that I know, that could easily be my child in the future, just the thoughts that ran through my head and the frustration from watching this, watching this occur and no one doing anything. This message is not about right or wrong. This message isn't about, oh, this person was justified or this person was not justified in their actions. This message is to remind us to check our perspectives. So the example I'd like to give is that of a pedestrian and that of a driver. As a pedestrian, you empathize with other pedestrians. When you see a car speeding towards you, it's frustrating because you don't know if that car is going to stop in time. After all, you have the right of way. When you're a driver and you're approaching the intersection and you think, you know, someone either should cross the street a little bit faster or maybe they stepped out too quickly or maybe the light says stop and they decided to go. You empathize with other drivers, hoping that that individual will clear the way so that you can make it to your destination. In that example, oftentimes we have the ability to be both. We can be both a pedestrian and a driver. But in life, when dealing with race, dealing with culture, dealing with other differences, we cannot always put ourselves in the other person's shoes. That being said, because we cannot physically become another race, because we cannot physically experience the same experience that someone has been through to be able to really sympathize and empathize with them to understand how they may be feeling, it's important to remind ourselves that just because it's our perspective doesn't make it right. So just because we may think, okay, in this situation, this person is justified because this individual was defiant. We don't know that. I can't speak to that situation. Why? Because I wasn't there. What I did see was a video showing an officer dragging a young lady out of a chair. The young lady was sitting in the chair. Sure, she may not have done what the teacher asked her to do, and I'm not justifying that that's right. However, what I would say is check your perspective. If that were your child, if that was your sister, if that was someone you knew, a close family friend, think about it. How would you feel then? Would you say this individual is justified in their actions or would you take it at face value for what has been shown? That being said, again, we don't know the whole situation, but what I encourage and employ you to do is to consider your perspective. Those types of situations are very frustrating, especially when you look and you see who appears to be the aggressor. That being said, there's always a backstory. And that being said, there's always someone trying to justify the actions of someone else, even though they weren't there either. So this message is not to justify the actions of either party. This message is not to talk about race. This message is simply to ask and encourage people to check their perspective. In instances of a pedestrian and a driver, sure, you may have the opportunity to be both. In life, you may not have the opportunity to fill your neighbor's shoes. And for that reason, we must remember to check our perspective. I'm not always right. There's probably times where my perspective may be off, but I remind myself constantly, I don't know the full situation. Because I don't know the full situation, it's difficult to judge, but we do. We base it off of our experiences and confirmational biases that we may have because it's something we experienced. And when it looks like, smells like, seems like something we went through, we immediately recall that memory. And we assume that it's the same type of situation. I don't know what happened in that classroom. What I know is what I felt when I watched that young lady being tossed about from her chair. And my immediate thought was, that could be me. That could be a family member. That could be a friend. Whether black, white, red, or yellow, it doesn't matter. It's a person. And at the end of the day, I personally just cannot understand justifying that type of behavior. And so for me, I encourage you to consider If that were you, what would you want other people to do? 
Would you want someone to speak up, to stand up, to do something? Or would you want someone to step back and try to justify why you deserved what you got? 